Hello everyone, I'm Jake from Backwater and I'm going to show you how to change a prop on a long shaft mud motor. The motor I'm going to change it on is a Backwater Swamp 23 SS. Uh, so to get started, the first thing that I'm going to do when I want to change the shaft, or excuse me, the propeller on the motor is I'm going to take off the cavitation plate. So now that I have the cavitation plate off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the jam nuts that are behind the propeller. Now I'm going to use an air tool so I don't have to hold the jam nut that's in front of the prop. But if you were going to be using just like a, a ratchet and a socket, you would need to take a wrench and actually hold that jam nut that's in front of the prop. So now that I got the jam nuts off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the propeller so it's uh, perpendicular to the table that I'm working on. The skag and I guess the uh, long tail assembly supported very well on a solid workbench. Uh, another thing that people do sometimes that's uh, not the right way to take off a prop is they'll take and stick a screwdriver or a wrench or something up in the universal joint and try to hold the, sh hold the shaft that way from spinning. But the correct way is to once again take the wrench and hold it on that jam nut that's in front of the propeller. So here I have the, the skag resting on a solid workbench and I'm going to take and turn the shaft so the wrench is also touching this solid workbench here. So now what, what happens is when I actually take and hit the prop with the, with the dead blow hammer, all the energy is transferred into actually spinning off this prop. You know, if this is up in the air, uh, the, the energy is going to you know, turn into vibration sending up the, up the long tail. So all this is held there solid. Um, that's there tight. <clears throat> so then I'll take my hammer and actually give it a good hit. So there you saw it actually came loose on my very first hit. Uh, that's not necessarily typical, especially after a prop has been on for a season of use. Um, but that's, that's the, the fashion that you'd want to do it in, is have everything supported well and then give it a good solid hit downward. So sometimes that isn't enough. Uh, if the you know, prop has been on for a long time or taken some very really, really hard hits, it will actually be locked on so hard that, you know, that method of taking off the prop won't work. So if you've gotten to that, you know, if your prop is in that point where you've tried this, because this is always going to be the way you want to try first. But let's say you've tried that and that doesn't work. The next method is to actually take and uh, split the jam nut that's in front of it. So the reason you want to split that jam nut is because it's not that the prop is locked onto your drive shaft. So heating your propeller or anything like that's not going to work. Uh, it's actually the surface tension that's in between your jam nut and your propeller. So uh, the combination of the two is what's locking it together. So if you take and split this jam nut, what's going to happen is the jam nut is going to walk further on your drive shaft. And when that uh, jam nut walks further on the drive shaft, then there's going to be it's going to release that surface tension and your prop's going to spin right off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a, a cutoff wheel on a side grinder and I'm going to take and grind away this jam nut here okay, from side to side until I can just about see the threading. And then once you can see the threading, I'm actually going to take and split it the rest of the way just with a chisel. So I'm going to put on some safety glasses and earmuffs. It's going to it's going to get a little bit a bit noisy, but uh, we're going to go for that. Well, I'm making some good progress. So you can see that I'm actually uh, far enough now that I should be able to split this jam nut. So 
what I want to happen is I want this jam nut to spin further onto your drive shaft so it moves away from the propeller and then the propeller will be free and the propeller should just spin right off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it back here towards me a little bit so I'm hitting at a downward angle when I go ahead to split this nut. Get my chisel on there. And that nut split wide open. And once this nut splits wide open, like I said, uh, your prop is always going to be free. There's not going to be any tension in between uh, the nut and the prop or any of the threading on the shaft. So what you do, still grab your uh, wrench, hold on to that jam nut still that's in front of the prop, take, uh, still hitting on a downward angle, and spin that prop off. So, at this point, you will need to replace the jam nut, of course. So we'd like to uh, talk about some alternative ways of changing your propeller. And if you notice, we have the 100 pound anvil. Uh, we have the four pound maximizer dead blow hammer. And of course, uh, we have the 12 ounce can of hands. Got it. <laughs> That was pretty that good. Was good. <laughs> All the way off the Jake. <laughs> and Jake catches it. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Sweet. So here's one, uh, you know, probably loop your threads, grab another beer, put the top on, <laughs> and go home.